So in this video we're going to have a little dog sleigh team pulling Santa through the sky. And to start off with I'm just going to do a quick little sketch just to work out what it is I'm actually trying to draw. And that's always a very good idea before you start drawing any kind of illustration to know quite what it is that you're going to draw so you know that it's going to fit on the page. In fact I think we're probably going to want a bit of a curve because it's just traditional really. I'm going to start with the head and I hope you can see that yeah and as ever when I'm drawing characters I always start with a circle and this will be kind of the line down the front of the face like that and then that'll be the snout coming there and so we need to fit the one eye over there and one eye there uh, and we want it kind of really stretching forward like that neck really reaching out urgently trying to get to the next house get to the next chimney and if we imagine this is the body then there's going to be a kind of a midline down there as well so it's, it's sort of like a sphere but it's stretched out um then we're going to want the the paws possibly to be like that and there'll be of a blob on the end there and the other one might be reaching out a bit more and then we have oh, these awful dog tails at the back <laughs> uh dog legs which are always so hard to draw and it's going to be something like that Let's have the other one kind of reaching forward there. And then we're going to want a tail. And this one's going to have sort of big long ears and a a little uh, Alice band thing. You know, the dealy bobber thing that you get sticking on your head. And then we'll have that going up and forward. And that will come there, something like that. So we'll have the other one comes forward and up and we want to do something similar which is like that so now i can switch to ink join me on patreon for images help sheets and a whole lot more i have to think about what's kind of the nearest thing to me at the moment so i'm going to draw this hairband because that's kind of right on the front it's not a hairband is it it's a it's a <laughs> dealy bobber band head headband and we can draw this this is like twiglets isn't it you want to have that kind of spicy twiglet flavor on the end <laughs> so uh we'll do the next one which is going to be sort of something like that coming out there and that will do something like that and then we can bring that around there uh -huh. and then we're gonna so this is going to be a bright red nose and we can bring the mouth around like that and the tongue something like that really stretching out reaching we want to have the eyes really looking forward like that maybe some eyebrows and and then we can have the ears streaming behind like that so if we kind of draw around like that and then we want this kind of stripey around like that and we want to have some kind of a, a tag I think uh, let's have a Christmas tree tag, maybe like that. Maybe that would have some little flashing lights on it as well. And then we can bring that down to there. And we're going to need also a harness, aren't we? So we're going to have to think of a harness around like that. And there. So that would be coming off like that but we want this kind of curve as well don't we that's what we were after so i'm going to draw the harness in 
like that I think yeah and let's put some little bells on there uh, they'll be like that so you can hear them going jingle 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 and that can come around there like that and then we can draw in the pause which will be then coming forward like that and then maybe a little bit sort of the wind is whoosh, whooshing the fur backwards like that and I think it will come up like that a bit there and across there like that and then we want this tummy coming in and around mm, let's get the tail in there and then that would be coming oh I'm not terribly happy with that back leg but <laughs> we'll get away with it uh, back legs of animals are just a nightmare I think you just have to keep drawing them and hoping for the best and one day you'll maybe get it right we need some little bit of stitching in there I think and there we are right so now we need to have another dog in the team and we don't want to be too close do you because you don't want that tail swishing your nose while you're um, drawing so let's have something a little bit smaller I think maybe but still with enormous antlers probably this one so we're going to want that the, the the harness again like that and so we do something like that and little point pointy ears this time I think maybe like that and a little curly tail <laughs> let's see how we get on with this one so we're probably going to want bells all the way along here as well aren't we like that getting smaller but this is it looks like it's in the distance but it's actually a smaller kind of dog altogether so we let's do the same thing we'll have that coming around there and then we'll draw these uh, antlers uh, I didn't really plan these out as well did I I think because <laughs> you think yeah I've done that I know how to do that and then no I'm not sure I do so and it's always good to plan. I know some people kind of see my drawing and think, oh, get on with it, stop all that pencil stuff. But it's good to plan and know quite what you're doing. So let's have a little thing like that. And smaller ears like that. But still quite big eyes. And we'll put a nose in there. And make him a bit more hairy, I think, this one. Uh -huh. Like that. And it can be a little bit quicker with this one because, it, because it's further away. I don't need to worry quite so much about the, the, um, the detail on it, I don't think. Mm, and that was meant to go there, wasn't it? You can have... This one's going to have a, d a double harness. <laughs> and then whoosh, have a little curly tail like that. That's going to go there. And that's going to go there. We're going to want to have Santa's sleigh coming in here like that. I imagine that is sort of tied into the the middle. So if we think of it as, as being a box... So Santa's kind of sitting in a box, which is a bit up at the back, and then we're going to want to curl that down so he can get in. Um, and then we're going to want to have skis on as well, like that, which are going to be sort of curled around. So the other ones will be something like that, and they'll be curled around there. Um, and let's bring that back up. It's just kind of tradition, isn't it? Um, that that you know Santa drives around in a in a very old fashioned sleigh. <laughs> so if we draw Santa's head a bit like that, then that would be the top of his hat, and that would be whisking away in the wind. And we want a little face, and he's going to be going hello, ho ho ho, lots of gifts. I think we need to do the 
slay bit first, the skis. And I think you could. Mm, it went a bit funny, didn't it? There we go. Right. <laughs> um, and then we can do that one. So that will go behind like that. And we put the little supports on there. And I think we could do something like that. We could maybe even do a little candy cane pattern around there as well. And we can come all the way around there. So I think we need to have Santa's arm probably in there. And then that will come up and around. And we can make that a candy cane pattern too. So Santa will be um, mm, and then we want a kind of a smiley who 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 thing. So the nice thing about drawing Santa is you can most of them you can hide in kind of fur and beard like that. And then we're going to want a little sort of fur cuff on there as well. And then we're going to want to have kind of parcels piled up behind him like that and then you want to get that nice curve in there as well so yeah that's getting there isn't it i'm now going to get an eraser and erase those pencil lines like i always say make sure your ink is absolutely dry we're going to want some whoosh lines aren't we so we've got a bit of a curve going on uh, that we need to think about. So take wish lines from the tips um, of the sort of points that are in motion and we can have some like that and things going on like that maybe a bit there. Make sure those bits are dry before I erase those little bits there. Oh that's not going to be good is it? So this is drawing gum and I certainly didn't want that there. <laughs> but what I can do <laughs> is pick that up from there <laughs> and just sort of spread it around. And this is going to be, well, snows or starlight or something. And then, oh, we're going to have to wait half an hour for that to dry before I can do anything. Because I'll have to erase that before I start painting. Hopefully that will dry quite quickly and I'll be able to rub that away. I'll see if I can work around that bit for the moment. And I'm going to use oh, a sort of a uh, burnt umbery kind of sepia colour on the antlers. I'm not being terribly accurate there, am I? Because I'm trying not to touch these wet bits. What I could do, get a mull stick which allows you to kind of rest over the the page and then also I'm, I'm working flat here because of the camera and um, I would normally be working at an angle so maybe at some point I've got to think about how I can film with the drawing table at an angle I've been trying to th I've been thinking about that for a very long time actually but it's it gets a bit complicated a little red around about like that and maybe a bit of red in there too and then we're going to want some Red on the candy cane bits, aren't we? Like that. And red on, we're going to have candy cane here too, aren't we? And then we can do Santa's red hat. I'm doing that at a kind of a, a certain thinness of water. And then I'm adding slightly, so, and then I'm going to add a slightly darker red. And then I'm just dropping that in along one side to sort of get an, um, sort of three-dimensional kind of edge to it like that it's not shade it's tone isn't it tone tonality i think the um the sleigh is kind of traditionally red as well isn't it so i'm going to do that like that and i'm going to leave a little gap there for a sort of reflection on the corner go right to the edge and then again while it's still wet i'm dropping some more solid color in i know nikki was asking last week about using colour straight uh, from the palette but 
So this is using colour straight from the palette, but it's dropping it into an area that's already wet. So it's just kind of diffusing into that area. Uh, and then we can do the rest of that there like that. Can maybe add a little bit of shade and tonality on the corner, on the edges of the candy cane there as well. I think this, um, I think this harness ought to be red as well. So, but I think we need a bit more vermilion -y kind of red in there. Oh, that's picked up one of the little bits. <laughs> it's a latex or whatever it is. So, well, we need to leave those bells in there because they need to be a kind of golden bronze, don't we? That can come all the way along. I think I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of kind of purpley colour in there just to kind of get that tonality again. And, the, and sort of shade. I think that's probably all I need. Maybe a bit underneath there. And I think the skis are traditionally very black, aren't they, like that? Everywhere north of the Arctic Circle sort of claims him, don't they? And so you've got sort of Santa lands in North Norway and North Pole and Finland and Sweden. And we don't really use sleighs in this country. We don't get that kind of snow opportunity, I don't think. Although... When I was a child, I do remember. <laughs> How old am I? <laughs> but I remember uh, ponies and traps. So people would still be going out with a pony and trap, maybe at the weekend or something like that. There was a kind of fitting you could put skis on underneath the wheels of the pony and trap and turn that into a uh, sleigh. And you could go out, you know, with a little horse dragging you along. Those are the days, eh? I don't know if anybody does that anymore. Mind you, those were the days when you still used to raise your cap to the squire in the village as well. <laughs> None of that goes on anymore. Oh, they should be coloured parcels, really, shouldn't they? So, yeah. Uh, let's have a blue. Or a purple or something like that. There we are. There's a gifts. And, and we need to just add a little bit of um, sort of shade and tonality on these candy cane bits just to make them look like they're sort of rope like <clears throat> I'll leave that to dry just for a little moment come back and see <laughs> have we got any um what have we got coming on here with a bit of luck I should be able to erase that bit so we just oh here we go this is the this is my favorite this is <laughs> uh, Naples yellow so I'm just going to do kind of along like that and then uh, we'll just do something like that. And I'll get a little bit of red and just sort of drop that in there for those red cheeks. And then we're going to want the red nose as well, aren't we? Somebody will probably come along and tell me, red noses are copyright. I don't, no, clowns had red noses long before. Rudolph did, didn't they? You can't be, can't be totally sure about these things. I have a little green Christmas tree around there like that. And I'm going to have something a little bit darker in there like that. And maybe something a bit kind of more sort of ochre just to get that bit of kind of shading and tone and form uh, along the kind of side there and then this little one here I think is going to be a more sort of little kind of black and white dog and we'll have a have a patch around the eye there I think like that little black ears and maybe a little oh, oh no I don't think we want a black tail no but anyway something like that and maybe some little pink feet and I'm going to get some yellow which I'm going to put into those Jingle bells, like that. And then I'm also going to put some yellow in the eyes, I think. I'll have a bit of yellow in those eyes. But then I'm going to add a little bit of brown in there too. Uh, we want a little bit of pink on the tongue. And we're going to need a bit of a kind of bluey kind of shading on Santa's fur and his... Um, beard. So I'm going to get a bit of this which is French ultramarine and then this is neutral tint which I'm going to mix in with it so we get a kind of a bluey dark blueyness like that and then comes the the big whoosh <laughs> so, 
This is going to be... This is the universe! And, oh my goodness, I was listening to this extraordinary thing. And they were talking to Sir Roger Penrose, who has just won the the Nobel Prize for Physics. He won it for, well, it's from <laughs> work he did back in the 1960s, really, about black holes and stuff. But he was talking about what he's working on at the moment. And he has these kind of mathematical models for the end of the universe, <laughs> since we're talking about the universe. At the moment, we're kind of taught that it just keeps emanating outwards to a massive point of entropy where there's nothing left and everything is so <laughs> spread apart from each other that there appears to be nothing there. And the universe just turns into this cold, absolute zero nothingness. Uh, but he has this new mathematical model um, whereby all these bits that go floating out um, eventually they just turn into photons which have no mass. As soon as you've got no mass left, then you come to Einstein and you come to equals mc squared, don't you? But if there's no mass, then the whole thing gets a little bit tricky. <laughs> so his theory is that the universe then, because it hasn't got any mass, it's the universe then itself isn't quite sure how big it is so from where we stand at the moment watching it expanding and expanding it's getting ever ever bigger infinitely bigger but as it doesn't know how big it is it might as well be infinitely small and so his theory is that the the infinitely large expanded out universe could equal the tiny bit of spark that starts the Big Bang of another universe. So it's kind of one universe leading into another universe, leading into another universe. I don't know, can you get your head around that? And you came for drawing. And so Santa is making me think about things like that. So yeah, so I've had to, um, I listened to this program as a podcast, so I've had to play that bit about 10 times over. <laughs> To, to just be able to get the gist of roughly what it is that he's talking about and if you uh yeah and so he's and he's a very visual guy if you know do you know the 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 impossible triangle drawing i've done that on, on draw stuff real easy well he invented the impossible triangle drawing because he's a very visual kind of guy as well as being a physicist and um and he <laughs> he sent the impossible triangle and a couple of other things that he invented sort of geometric patterns that he invented. He sent to Escher, the artist who you know as being the, um, you know, the guy with the staircases that go up and down. Um, and he also sent this thing, it's called, oh, the something circles, I can't remember. But it's this pattern that he invented, which he then sent to Escher, which Escher then did these artworks for, which has then come back to him now, which has made him think about the way things rotate and whatever. I'll leave that to dry for a little moment. <laughs> Rub out those little bits that I stuck on there and then that will be the snow or the stars in the background. <laughs> if you haven't got an audience out there that you're trying to entertain, you know, you can sp <laughs> spend a bit more time <laughs> doing those stars a bit more nicely. Or you can get you can get a toothbrush and kind of flick them on as well, which you can get really nice effects with as well. And I think really all I need to do is just a little bit more in there, just a bit more, maybe something around there, a bit of shading in there, perhaps in there as well, under the leg there. Uh, I think Santa, but that's probably a bit too bright in there as well. And I think I'm going to zoom in there like that. And there you go, How to Draw Santa and his faithful dog sleigh team. <laughs> Thanks for watching and click down there. Make sure you're subscribed to Shoe Rainy Drawing Channel. Click the notification bell as well so that you know when I go live. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.